Hey folks, welcome to another How To Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to store values in this particular Casio Graphics Calculator model. So without further ado, let's get started. So we've got basically two values here. We've got square root of 6 and 9.54. Now, now the one good thing about this particular calculator is that you can actually store these values and reuse them as many times as you want. So what do I mean by that? Let's say we're going to take the square root of 6. So I'm going to switch on the calculator and I'm going to do square root of 6 right now. There we go. That's square root of 6 right now. But what I would like to do is I would like to use the square root of 6 for another calculation later on. So I might actually put this as the letter A. And the way I'm going to do this is because I have square root of 6 here as the answer, I could click on this little particular arrow and I click on alpha A. Basically what that's doing is it's actually taking square root of 6 and it's storing as the letter A. So that means if I anytime I do alpha A and if I just put that as equals, it's going to end up being square root of 6. Now let's say I take um, 9.54 and I'm going to put that as the letter B. So I'm going to go 9.54 and I'm going to store it. So that's that little arrow there. And I'm going to put in alpha B. Now basically, anytime I do alpha B, I'm actually going to get 9.54. And if I do alpha A, I'm going to get square root of 6. All right, so let's say we want to actually calculate uh, square root of 6 plus 3 times 9.54. What I can then do is because square root of 6 is A plus 3 times 9.54 is B, I could just put A plus 3B and I should get the same answer as square root of 6 plus 3 times 9.54. So let's try it out anyway. So we've got square root of 6 plus 3 multiplied by 9.54 and that's equal to this long ugly looking number. But let's say we want to actually do A plus 3B. So we're going to go alpha A plus 3 times alpha B. That's just going to be 3 times B. And as you can see, you're actually getting that same answer. Now, what is this really useful for? Now, when you're actually doing any kind of calculations where you're getting recurring decimals and you want to avoid rounding errors, it's a really good idea to store some of your values here as letters and to reuse them again. Particularly useful in uh, trigonometric calculations or even uh, if you're doing physics, uh, you could actually store any of the variables um, as letters with your values as well. All right, folks, so that's basically a quick little um, video for how to store values uh, in this particular graphics calculator.